What's the matter with you? I haven't got my air legs yet. Oh, nonsense. A trip down here was beautiful. And here we are in beautiful Mexico City, the land of sunshine and good fellowship. And the land of beautiful senoritas. Yes, sir, and those good old hot tamales. <laughs> Hotel El Matador, please. <sighs> well, at last we've got a whole cab all to ourselves. Yes, sir, it was worthwhile waiting for. You know, we should have taken this cab in the first place. Mm. Then we wouldn't have any... my good man. Dos pesos. Dos, dos pesos. Dos pesos. Uh, Stanley, get the book. Uh, you'll find it in the D's. D's, Dems, Dos. Dos pesos. Why, that's two dollars. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Thank you. Pay him, Stanley. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Give this to Mr. Coleman as soon as you see him. There's a rush in it. Thanks, I'll rush it to him. Anything for me, handsome? No, Miss Blake. The afternoon mail won't be in for half an hour. Oh. Well, I'll be back by right then. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Uh, have you a reservation for Mr. Laurel and Mr. Hardy? Indeed I have, sir. Welcome to Mexico City. Thank you. Got a room for Mr. McCoy? Uh, yes, sir. He's forging my name. I'm sorry, sir, but I require your address. Golly, I can't write. Thanks, partner. Take this gentleman to 410, please. Here on pleasure. Uh, pleasure and business. Oh, I see. Something very confidential. We're looking for a girl by the name of Hattie Blake, a better known as Larceny Nell. What? I say we're looking for a girl by the name of Hattie Blake. Bet. Oh, shut up. Is that so? Yes, sir. Well, gentlemen, she just left the hotel, but she'll be back very shortly. Uh, well, we'll hang around the lobby, and when you see her come in, will you give us the eye? Anything to help John Law. Thank you. 
Uh, boy, take those bags up to 418, please. Uh, and will you take these coats also? Yes, sir. I wish this convention was over so I could get out of this rented monkey suit. Now, you hurry up and get your shopping done. All right. And don't you forget to memorize your speech, Lammy Pie. I won't. And don't forget them love boys. All right, babykin. Goodbye. Fellow bricklayers, having been called upon by the president of our local to make a few remarks regarding our honorable profession, I know that you guys, like myself, having gone past the fourth grade in school, will understand my sentiments. And I take great pleasure uh, in... Pardon me, my good man, but would you move over a trifle, please? Thank you. Fellow bricklayers, having... I'm terribly sorry, but accidents will happen. <laughs> Fellow bricklayers, having been called upon by the president of our local to make a few remarks regarding our honorable profession. I Bricklayers haven't been called upon by the president of our local to make a few remarks regarding our honorable profession. Fellow bricklayers have been called upon by the president of our local. Bricklayers haven't been called upon. <laughs> Fellow bricklayers haven't been called upon by the president of our local to make a few remarks regarding our honorable profession. I know that you guys, like myself, haven't gone past the fourth grade in school, will understand my skills, and I take great pleasure in it. sitting here learning me speech in this What were you doing? It's on I was minding my own business. I was just sitting here, and I turned that like that just to... <laughs> oh! So you did it! I didn't. Come here! Stand right there. Will you hold him there for me? With pleasure. Thank you. Don't let him move. She's most wonderful in all the world. My little Conchita. And who is going to fix it so I work at the Cafe of the Bullfighters and be big success? I am. Oh, me muchachi. Come in. Excuse me, Mr. Muldoon, but Hotshot Coleman is here. Okay, send him in. Well, well, Richard K., what's the good word? Everything in the palm of the hand. <laughs> what's new with you? Hello, Gump. Meet Senorita Conchita. Mucho gusto. Pleasure is mutual. I just received the pictures of Don Sebastian from Spain. Now, those will do for the billboards in the newspapers until he gets here. Fine, Hotshot. You and I should clean up a basketful on this promotion. That's a cinch. 
What are you trying to give me, hotshot? What's the gag? I don't get it, R.K. Those are the pictures I promised you. My client, Don Sebastian, the world's greatest bullfighter. You're nuts, hotshot. This guy's from Peoria, Illinois. I know him, and I've got good cause to remember him. You're nuts. That guy's never been out of Spain. It's his first trip to Mexico. What, show him the envelope the pictures came in. Look at here. Look at that. Spanish stamps. It's inconceivable that there could be two faces like that. But you're convinced, huh? See, here's even the photographer's name, El Toro Estudio Barcelona, Spain. I'd swear it was that little guy in Peoria. Oh, what's Peoria got to do with it? What difference would it make if he did come from Peoria? See, what difference does it make? What difference what? does it make? <laughs> Look, honey, you better go back to the nightclub and practice your dancing. I'll meet you for dinner. And don't you worry about not being a big hit. I'll shoot anyone who doesn't like you. Okay, kid. Uh, let's see, uh, where were we? Uh, Peoria. Peoria. Peoria! Peor huh? Listen, hotshot. Eight years ago in Peoria, yeah. two private detectives. Mm. Mr. Laro, I want you to think very carefully before answering my next question. Are you positive that this is the man you identify as the one who committed the crime? It is quite important that you answer my question without prejudice. Are you positive? I'm positive that I'm absolutely positive. Honor in the court. I'm sorry, Your Honor, but I am positively more positive than he is positive. Sit down, Mr. Hardy. Your Honor, that makes it doubly conclusive. That closes the case. Gentlemen of the jury, I leave the matter entirely in your hands. You've heard the evidence, the arguments by counsel, and last witness and rebuttal. You may now retire. Your Honor, we've reached our verdict. Get away! You've convicted an innocent man! I sentence you to 20 years hard labor. I'm innocent, Your Honor, I'm innocent! <laughs> I'll get you two guys if it's the last thing I ever do. <laughs> and so you served 20 years at hard labor, huh? No. After five years, the guilty man confessed, and I was released. But I lost everything. The lawyers took my fortune. My wife divorced me. My home was broken up. Everything. <laughs> Those two bloodhounds ruined my life. I had to flee to Mexico to start life anew. Uh -huh. But someday I'll run across them again. Oh. And when I do, I'm going to skin them alive. Uh -huh. First the little one, then the big one. I'm going to skin them alive. Take it easy, Richard K. Ay, Don't sit there. Our other clothes are not dry yet. My hero. yourself together. Welcome to Mexico City. Thank you. And to you too, sir. Thank you, sir. When did you gentlemen arrive? Well, we got in this morning, sir. Well, why didn't you let me know? What for? What for? I've got you billed all over this town. Don Sebastian, the greatest bullfighter in all the world, direct from Barcelona, Spain. Well, I'm afraid you're mistaken, sir. I'm Mr. Hardy, and this is my good friend, Mr. Laurel. How do you do? How do you do? Are you kidding? You mean to tell me you're not Don Sebastian, the great bullfighter from Barcelona? Why, no, sir. We've never been in Barcelona in our lives. No? Uh-uh. We come from Peoria. 
Peoria. Oh. Ever run across a fellow by the name of Richard K. Muldoon? Richard K. Muldoon? Oh, why, of course. I sent him to prison for 20 years. Really? Yes, sir. What do you mean, you sent him to prison? I was the one that sent him to prison. I remember... Uh, I beg your pardon, sir, but why do you ask? Well, as a matter of fact, I'm in business with him. I left his office not over an hour ago. An hour ago? Well, how'd he get out of prison so soon? After five years, they discovered he was innocent. The real guy confessed. Innocent? That's right. Gee, that's terrible. Maybe you'd better go over and apologize. That's an awful thing to do. I'd better go and apologize. Why, you were the one that so falsely accused him. Why, if you had a spark of manhood left in your system, you'd go right over and apologize to Mr. Muldoon. Well, I'll do that. But just a minute. If you'll take my tip, you'll never cross his path because he said he was going to skin you both alive. Now, if you're smart, you'll get out of town because he said first the little one, then the big one. I'll skin them both alive. Thanks for the information. Good day, gentlemen. Good day. Bye. Sit down. Go oh, and eat. Well, here's another nice mess you've gotten me into. You know what? What? We better find that Larson and Ellen and get back to Peoria as fast as we can. I guess you're right. We certainly don't want to be skinned alive. Should say not. I don't want to walk around in my bones, rattling all over the place. I didn't think it was possible. There was another face like that in all the world. I wish you good luck, senor. Thank you. We need it. You know, that girl's face is kind of familiar to me. Uh, nonsense. She's probably some dame that thinks that you're the bullfighter. No, I've seen her somewhere before. She's at the cocktail bar. Atlantic City. Come on. Where are you going? I found Lawson and Nell. Where is she? She shook hands with you a moment ago, and you didn't even recognize her. Come on. Ah, won't you join me in a drink, Don Sebastian? Madam, he's not a bullfighter. We're detectives, and you are under arrest. You can't arrest me. I'm on Mexican territory. You can't touch me. We can't, huh? We have the papers. What papers? The extradition papers. Are you kidding? Kidding. So what? Now, you give me back those papers. Try and get them. I certainly... Papers or no papers, you're coming with us. Get the handcuffs, oh, Stanley. Get your get hands the handcuffs, off of Stanley. me. Get the handcuffs, Stanley. Get Take the... your hands off me. Get the handcuffs, quick. Let me go. I will not go. Oh. 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 Come on, Stanley, help me. Go. Adam, you might as well come along quietly. Go. Oh. No, no, Stanley. You can't hit a lady. She's no lady. I'm not her. Huh?
Coming with us or else. I got a telegram for you. It's important. How long have you been carrying this thing around? About three hours, boss. Well, we're behind the eight ball, and it ain't transparent either. Don Sebastian's passport has been held up. You mean he ain't coming? Well, not exactly, but I need him here right now. Boss, I got an idea. So have I. It wasn't my fault. What do you mean it wasn't your fault? I had the dame right in the palm of my hand and you had to mess it up. Gentlemen, I'm happy to meet you again so soon. I'm having a little difficulty and you can do me a great favor for which I'm prepared to pay you very handsomely. I'm sorry, but we're not interested. We have to pack. We're leaving the city right away. Yeah, but this is... I'm sorry. I wonder what he wanted. I don't care what he wanted. We're gonna pack and get out of here right away. We're gonna stay as far away from that guy as we can. Why? Why? Because he and this Muldoon are just like that. Come in. Pardon me, gentlemen. May I use your phone? Yeah, help yourself. Let me, Richard K. Muldoon. Oh. Uh, just what was the proposition you had in the hall? Oh, oh, oh. Remember this morning when I mistook Mr. Laurel for Don Sebastian the Bullfighter? Yes, sir. Well, by a strange coincidence, Mr. Laurel is the living image of Don Sebastian from Barcelona, Spain. But unfortunately, Don Sebastian has been held up by passport trouble. So, as a great favor to me, and for which, as I said, I'm prepared to pay you very handsomely, oh. I want you to impersonate him. I'm not going to fight any bulls. What do you think I... Get me Richard K. Muldoon. I don't want to fight any bulls. I don't like bulls. I'm allergic to bulls. Listen, Don Sebastian himself will certainly be here for the big bullfight. Oh, I don't have to fight any bulls? Absolutely not. All I want you to do is impersonate him. Meet the press. Have your pictures taken. Meet all the lovely ladies. Be seen in public places. I'm taking you out tonight and show you a good time. And we get paid for that? Definitely. But suppose we run across this Mr. Muldoon. Oh, leave him to me. Oh. 
You mean you won't know me with these clothes? No, you listen. I'm having my tailor, Senor Guttenberg, come up here and attire you in the colorful costumes usually worn by bullfighters when at ease. And I guarantee you when he gets through with you, Richard K. Muldoon can look you right in the eye and skin you alive. I mean, you'll swear you're someone from Peoria. Uh, uh, Barcelona, Spain. It's a deal. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Adios, amigos. Adios. Hasta la vista. <laughs> Do you think it's all right? Uh, of course it's all right. We'll have a good time and pick up a few pesos. Senor Hatcha. Louis. And a very distinguished guest. You recognize Don Sebastian, eh? But who could fail? His face is on every billboard in Mexico City. Nice table, Louis, huh? The best in the house. Ah, Senorita Tangerine, Don Sebastian. Ah, oh, my hero. Senores y senoritas, it is my pleasure to announce that we have with us tonight, direct from Barcelona, the great Don Sebastian. Wow, take a bow. Oh, 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 get on your feet, take off your hat, take a big bow. <laughs> you got a match? Sure. No! Well, like this. <laughs> hey, boss, Muldoon's on his way in. Muldoon! <laughs> Sit down, he won't recognize you, but don't speak English. Ah, hot shot. How are you? Richard K., meet Don Sebastian. How do you do? Let's see. Uh, uh, sit over here. You'll see the show a little better. Oh, thanks. You know, it's a lucky thing for you. I know you really are Don Sebastian. Because if you weren't, but the guy you remind me of, I'd skin you alive. But then, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, I beg your pardon. Well, this fellow that looked like you had a friend, a human hippopotamus. Why, if I had that mass of blubber here right now, I'd crush him alive, like this. Senores y senores, now we present the original Levin Bunche, Conchita! Es un nuevo compás que los negros van bailando en la comparsa. Bim bam bum, bim bam bum, la mulata merced arrollando va detrás de la comparsa. Con el grito del solar ya no pueden cumbanchar porque quieren el compás de ese ritmo así. Muévelo, gózalo, bailalo.
Carlos Conchita, marvelous. Muchas gracias, muchas gracias. Uh, may I present Don Sebastian, Senorita Conchita. Mucho gusto, señor, mucho gusto. Sí, take a bow. Not a big one. <laughs> oh, mi muchachito, come. I'm going to teach you how to do the rumba. Uh, some other time. Right now, I'm talking business with Don Sebastian uh, and Macho. Oh, no, 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 no. You come right now. Come on, come on. I'm only going to teach you two steps of conga, OK? Now, look, with your left foot, you will cover three steps to the left, and then you kick to the fourth, OK? Watch. One, two, three, kick. One, two, three, kick. Oh, it's very simple. Come on, let's try it now. One, two, three, kick. One, two, three, kick. Oh, that's wonderful. Come on, everybody. <laughs> now, the second one. The second one, you kick, you walk just about the same, only you kick just a little bit different. Like this, watch. One, two, back, kick. One, two, back, kick. Oh, boy. Oh, that a boy. <laughs> now, let's try the fourth one. Goes like this, watch. One, two, down. One, two, down. Oh, you're doing fine. You're a brave boy. Now, one, two, down, up. One, two. <laughs> There's a strange mule in my stall. Take that mask off. Go on, go on, get out of here. It's all right. Most embarrassing. Lucky thing for me, I got two pair of pants with this suit. You can't beat Senior Guttenberg. Oh. A telephone call for you, Don Sebastian. See? Is this you, Stan? Si, senora. Hello. Hello. Ah, uh, he's bullfighter on Mickey Mouse. He's a cute little person. Another call for you. See? Who is this? This is me. See? <laughs> Hello. Hello. That reminds me. I must talk to the committee. Louis. Si, senor. Bring me the telephone. I'm very sorry it is busy, but you can use the one in the booth. Will you pardon me? Uh, careful your pants. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Thanks for the lovely time, Mr. Potshot. Potshot. But, well, anyway, I've got to be going. You see. Where are you going? Well, I've got to meet Ollie. You see, you're they going nowhere. We haven't set this deal yet. Sit still and enjoy yourself. And don't speak English. See. Hotshot. I thought you said it was hot shot. Another call for you. Hello? Hello, Stan. This is Ollie. Where are you? I'm in the telephone booth. Well, you better get out of there. Muldoon's on his way over to make a call. Oh. 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 Muldoon must have got him. Come on. Oh. 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 What happened? You two guys get to the hotel. I'll see you later. Come on, beat it. I'll sure be glad to get out of here. So will I. As soon as that Mr. Hotfoot comes over with the money, we'll be on our way. His name is not Hotfoot, it's Hot Shot. Come in. Well, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. morning. Well, you're not preparing to leave our fair city, are you? We certainly are. After that experience last night, we don't want to run into Mr. Muldoon again. Why? Nothing happened. 
Yeah, but it was a very close shave. Listen, gentlemen, I've had some bad news. I'm in a terrible spot. I just received another telegram that Don Sebastian's passport has been held up indefinitely, and he can't possibly arrive in time for the big fight. So what? So what? I've signed a contract, accepted a check in advance. You've been advertised all over the city. Last night you were seen in a cafe as Don Sebastian, so naturally from now on you are Don Sebastian, and you'll have to go through with it. You mean you want me to fight a bull? Exactly. That boy can't fight any bulls. Listen, there's nothing to it. I'll get you an old, contented, blind bull. Old, blind, or contented, I won't do it. I don't blame you, Stanley. Thank you, Ollie. Gentlemen, can I use your telephone? Help yourself. Let me fight a blind, contented bull. Get me Richard K. Muldoon. Operator. Oh. Gump! What is it, boss? Get Muldoon. Yes, sir. Stanley? On second thought, I think you'd better consider this. What do you mean, consider? Don't jump at conclusions. Who's jumping? And don't make hasty decisions. Don't be so selfish. Think of me once in a while. At least you can do this for my sake. For your sake? You don't want to see me skinned alive, do you? Listen, my friend, you have only one alternative. Either honor and glory as thousands cheer, or slow death by my good friend Muldoon. What do you say? Well, I don't know, and I wouldn't say positively, but I think I'm hoped. Who's there? All you! And... Well, come in, Richard Kay. Hiya, hot shot. Hello, Sebastian. Well, now. I have good news for you. This week, we have the finest bulls we've had in years. Really? Now, here's the committee selection. A big, fine, black, courageous one. No, no, no. This one, big, fighty, so quick that he turned his tail around on a pace. There's a beautiful animal. Fine bull. Last Sunday, he killed three matadors. Three, mind you. What about the blind and contented one? Well, blind and contented? Uh, that's a breed of bulls they have in Barcelona, Spain. Now, you leave the pictures with me, and I'll make our selections later. Well, you can't go wrong. Every one of those bulls is a killer. And every one worthy of your fine technique. You said it, Keith. Say, why don't you take Don Sebastian out to the bull farm and let him make his own selection? It's a good idea, and I'll call you at the office later. Fine. Adios. 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 Come along, Conchita. No, no, no. Come on this way. Oh, I beg your pardon. Adios. Adios. Help! Blind and contented bulls. I ought to... Here's Senor Muldoon's finest bull. This is my son, Pancho. He's going to be a great bullfighter someday. You hear that? Even a little kid isn't afraid of the bulls. How do you know he's not afraid of the bulls? Well, I'll ask him. You aren't afraid of the bulls, are you, son? Si, sí, senor. He said yes. He said yes, he wasn't, didn't you, son? No, senor. You see? a fine bull. Comes from a very fine family. His name is Little Caesar. Little Caesar, huh? His brother, Big Caesar, killed a matador last week. Uh, killed a matador, huh? See? One slip of the foot, too slow with the wrist, poof, it's all over. Uh, um, where is Big Caesar now? He's inside. Come on, show you. This way, senor. <laughs> I've seen all the bulls on the farm except these two. Now, you see? Uh, come here. There's nothing to be afraid of. This one here, he's local. He's a killer. Uh, uh, well, how about this one down here? Oh, he's gentle. He's kind. He's contented. You sure of that? 
Si, senor. Sometimes they call him a gentleman cow. Ah, uh, you see, gentle, kind, and contented. <laughs> I'm not gonna fight that bull. Up. Now, listen to me. You heard what the man said. They're gentle, kind, and contented. Well, that bull wouldn't hide a fly. Yeah, but I'm not a fly. <laughs> Come on. Where you going? Thanks to you, I've got to see Senor Guttenberg. I wish we'd never met that Mr. Shotfoot. Now, don't worry. Remember, every cloud has a silver lining. And besides, look at the money we're gonna get. How much? Well, Mr. Hotshot gave me his word of honor that we'd get half of what he gets. Well, 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 wonderful. You look like a million dollars. You ought to see that crowd, the greatest crowd in the history of Mexico City. I wish I had half of that gate. Is that all we're going to get? What? A piece of gate? you need. Just take a shot of this. It'll give you courage. There you are. That settles it. <laughs> hey, beat it. Here comes Muldoon. 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 Come in, Richard Kay. Hiya, Don Sebastian. Just dropped in to wish you good luck. And I brought a little present for you I thought you might like. This sword belonged to Jose Acapulco, the greatest Toreador in Mexico. Why, with this sword, you could almost skin a bull alive. Thanks. How well I remember Jose Acapulco. He was graceful like a dancer. Ole, ole, niño, salero, muchacho, salero. Oh, el toro. This is the way he makes his kill. Oh! Listen to that crowd roar. 
Let us drink to your success. Don Sebastian, today you are going to make bullfighting history. Salute. Good luck. Come, Conchita. Acha, let's get to our seats. Buena suerte, senor. Good luck and take it easy. Put that down. You can't drink that stuff when we've got work to do. I feel faint. Well, I'll get you some smelling salts. Now, don't faint until I come back. Gracias, señor. Gracias. Who is that guy? Why, that's Don Sebastian. Don Sebastian? You're crazy. He's in his dressing room. Oh, you are crazy. I just picked him up at the airport. Wish you luck. Now, you see what that stuff's doing to you? You're double-talking me. ¿Qué pasa? Come on, the crowd's waiting. Suéltame. Usted está equivocado. Yo soy don Sebastián. Déjeme en paz. ¿Qué se ha imaginado? Será usted castigado por esto, idiota. Déjeme en paz. Sentirá usted mucho esta equivocación. Now, get off there and stay out of the way of the book.
congratulations. I know you'd like it. decided that I'm not going to find any more. Get back in that ring. Now go ahead out there and fight that bull. Go on. The flat from Peoria. Oh, no, and no. the other guy's Laurel. The guys that sent me up for 20 years. Now, now, Richard, can't control yourself. Control myself, you stupid! Hey! Hey! Turn the balls loose! Me, senoritas. Sure was clever the way you gave Muldoon the slip. Thank you, Stanley. Now always remember, any time you get in trouble, you can depend upon me to get you out of it. Thank you. Get our overcoats and we'll sneak down the fire escape. Now there's another clever idea. He'll never expect us to go out that way. No. <laughs> you sure are full of ideas, Ollie. <laughs> the little one, then the big one. Take your clothes off. Thank you all. You're welcome. Don't get don't. Well, here's another nice mess you've gotten me into. Well, I couldn't help it. Come on, let's get back to Peoria, where we belong. 